actually, and I will include the reference for this if you want to read more of it, but I actually thought I would, you asked about what other sports, I thought I would share with you from um, the uh, AFL coaches guide, 10 things that their coaches should know when it comes to, so it's the previous slide, thanks, Jared. Yeah, that's it, um, that they should know. And so the 10 things that they've told them that they, they should know when coaching girls is what fun means. And so what it means may be different depending on the group that you're coaching, whether it's a connection to their teammates and their coach, applauding their effort and not just results or some of those things. But again, by asking the girls, you'll, you'll find out the answer to that question. Um, girls love being in an all-girls group. They love hanging with girls. They worry less about how they perform and how they look. They take a lot more risks when it comes to sport if they don't feel they're being watched and by boys and they're just safe with girls. They, they, have, they have a go um, without being as self-conscious. Um, the socialising aspect is just so important. If you want to start your um, coaching very punctual, maybe a, maybe adjust it so that you allow five or ten minutes at the beginning for them to chat, 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 and actually catch up with each other, um, and encourage that social, have those social catch ups outside of the training as well with the team. Um, the access to female role models I've mentioned, and again, it was addressed by the AFL as being just such an important aspect. Listening to music also that I mentioned, we want to incorporate that fun aspect. Um, ambition's an interesting one. The ambition that, what is the ambition that your girls have? And is it the same ambition that you have as a coach? Um, and is it the same ambition as the club and the parents? Is everyone on the same page there? And trying to bridge that gap will only benefit the girl so that we are delivering what that girl wants from her sport and what is her ambition around the sport. Um, we find that girls love improving their skills. Again, it's not just about winning, but highlighting what they're doing better. Hey, remember at the beginning of the season, or maybe three training sessions, this is what you did, and now let's look at what you're able to achieve. So that ability of getting better, that feeling of getting better is, is a real attraction to girls. Um, yeah, and as a coach, I guess, just sometimes just get out of the way and let them <laughs> play <laughs> let them actually do what they want to do and you might be surprised about their decision making because it's so important that your coaching style is athlete centered and not just coach directed particularly for girls who you'll find you know want to have a say in it so um those small sided games getting out of the way letting them play letting them make their own decisions and I guess asking ourselves as coaches, are our sessions about the athlete or are they about the coach? And what can I do to make it more about the athlete, the athletes in this particular group? Do, am I coaching them different to the athletes? In, in the, and so that, that's kind of a good reflective question to, to occasionally ask as a coach. And going on to the last slide there, Jared, I think this is such an interesting one. Um, and that is around the, why, you know, males play. Males players need to perform to be accepted. And we're shown time and time again that female players need to be accepted before they perform. And that's accepted by their peers, their club, their coach um, and that feeling of safety and um, and you'll, you'll see them soar. I hope some of those tips have been helpful. That was excellent. Thank you, Martha. Chris, was there anything to add on top of that in, in your experiences and, and areas or industries that have really been excelling in this space? Uh, look, Netball does a great job in terms of uh, supporting each other. Um, they have a number of initiatives like Team Girls Cup, uh, where they do go out into schools, uh, they do go out into uh, smaller and regional communities. Um, they also have a number of mentoring programs as well, where they have, um, you know, state level athletes mentoring junior athletes. 
so they they do do some things well, and and all the things that Martha described around uniforms, um, I think netball has gone quite a way in addressing that. Um, the other thing I did want to say is, Martha, you speak so well. All the things that I had in my head, which were a big word jumble, um, I wish I'd been able to articulate as well as you. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Chris. <laughs>